Hello and welcome everybody. <coughs> I'm Christian from Berlin with a frog in the throat. Sorry, this is true old school Jimmy Yancey style piano. Check out my free blues piano courses. They're all linked in the description box with other recommendations for songs you might like. Let's go. Welcome to my help section. Why is it called Jimmy stuff? Obviously, because every uh, all all of Jimmy's favorite stuff is in here. Our old school elements, thirds, a left hand that is uh, smells of Jimmy, and this left hand is also trying to emancipate itself. Is that the right word? You know to free itself a little bit. So that's special about this one. And we have a look at the first couple of bars. Four and one and two and three and four and one and Can't count while I play. Okay, and we just have a look because everything is in here already in the first lines. We have a little bit of the old school thick, thick, thick. Go to my, uh, take my uh, free Easy Blues Piano course or Blues Piano for Beginners, all elements are taught there. Now, one and two and three, such a favorite left hand of Jimmy, my colleague. Uh, and then we have, look at this. Look at the left hand, look at the left hand. One. Again. What 
is strange here. Yes, this left hand is introduced like this and suddenly it's doing one and two. Uh -huh. Same rhythm, same accounting, but using the melody note A flat leading chronically to the major sixth of C. So sometimes this, sometimes that. And it gives a different sound. Now listen to it together. One. You hear? And now let's figure out where it's coming. Left hand together with these thicks. Have a look at the six here. Learn one finger setting that you will, you know, um, hammer into your brain and never forget the finger setting because uh, you got to play that fast. I mean, Jimmy Yancey plays the whole thing fast, even faster. He plays like. Almost, almost. I was a bit, little bit faster. Okay, so I recommend one, three, one, four. One, four, and let's or uh, hold on. Ah, yes, because I wrote a different thing I setting, did I? Okay, yeah, and I just followed my sheet music. Sorry, a one, yeah, one, four, um, or you can also play one, five. Many do that. I, I believe him, uh, he, him, the master himself does this. But whatever you do, you always stay with it so you don't have to think about it. Okay, so one. Here, on the G and the E, the A flat is coming. And now we have the next um, thing we have to count. Uh, but it's all repeating. It's kind of minimalistic, this blues, because these elements are repeating. That makes it kind of, you know, lazy and laid back. It's not, in a sense, exciting. It's really just grooving along, almost hypnotic. So, just like my voice. Now listen to this. What is this? Mm, ba, ba. Let's count it. One and oh, one and two and three two and four and one again. <laughs> Let's forget the example before. One and two and four three two. Oh come on, Christian, switch off. I'm not in. Uh, obviously, I'm deteriorating. Cannot count my own stuff. One and two and three two and four and again. One and two and three two and four and. Got it? Now you do it together. One and two and three two and four and one and two and three. Finger setting here. Oh, I'm, it's too much detail already because this tutorial will last six hours if I go on like this. Okay, thing here important finger setting that you can reach up here. Okay, so one and two and three two and four and one and two and three and two four two and one and two and three and here we stop again yes it's also coming back and it's a typical element maybe the hardest element in here uh, we are in, in F again we come we arrived in F one and two and three now one and two Okay, we have this left hand, the variation of the left hand, and here we have one and two. I do it one more time. One. And one more time because I'm such a nice guy from Germany. One.
the record got stuck. Okay, we move on. We move on. And then, yes, you're almost done. Thanks very much for watching. Now we go here. Uh, one. So, here we have one. The tremolo, the tremolo starts on the end. That's very important because beginners would love to play the tremolo on the one, especially German beginners, because we love the one so much. One, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, 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 two. So, one and two and three. Okay. Bam, bam. One. Now you know it. <laughs> now we know. You see? You see what, what I'm getting at? Yes. Again. On four. And one. Before, last bar, before the next chorus. One and two and three and four. Yeah. One and two and three. One and two and three. And before we had this, we had the sixth, the old school sixths. What are these warriors called from uh, Star Wars? Sixth? No, they are called Sith. Huh? Sith. These are. <laughs> sorry about that. I just re re uh, re uh, record the Sith, but they're not the sixth. Okay, uh, now we have one and two and three. Two and three, we have our old school thirds. How lovely, very Yancy like. One and two and. In between, let, listen to the left, uh, left hand. Uh, it's one of the early examples, I believe, where the left hand is trying, you know, doing something in, in the middle in between. Um, so we are witnessing history here. One. And repeating, repeating. And these little runs are every time a little bit different. One and. But very easy. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. Little differences here make the cake spicy as we don't say in germany and we also don't say anywhere else in the world okay one and element repeating this thing f what wonderful melodies again Again, left hand is coming into puberty, saying, eh, the fixed pattern, fixed pattern, these are the, would be the parents, the fixed patterns. Leave me alone, I have a life on my own. I just do in between, I do something else, and you can't stop me. So, now, these, uh, the repeating of these elements is, gives the thing unity. It, it's not just because um, he was bored or he was stoned, and didn't have any ideas. No, it's it's like a like a pop song where things repeat all the time, and it's kind of a pop blues <laughs> from 1920 whatever. So and yeah, okay. Next chorus, lovely, lovely and easy. One, one and two. Here we have four notes. You figure that out. A slow replay is coming afterwards at, uh, I think this time it's 30% uh, slower speed. So I don't have to stop for, uh, for um, everything. Although I find I'm in good shape today, humor-wise. And F. And here, we have second chorus, F part. Now listen to this. 
Let's left hand. One and two and three and four. Yeah, he's actually I simplified it a, a little bit. He's he's do, doing uh, more of that. That would that's quite confusing. It would be too hard for the value with gout. He's playing like even. Something he's doing in between. It's even too complicated for my little brain. So, but here. Um, one and two and three. It's not hard, but it's just a variation. And we gotta move on, we gotta move on, people. I'm hungry. Repeated element. It's all very easy. It's all these um, variations on the third, um, on our old school thirds. Now we're coming to the, the where he is playing. I'll show you where, uh, how he's playing this. But I didn't want to drive you into oblivion, into to, into the, the into the madhouse. Is it still to say sanatorium, whatever, into hospital by uh, demanding of you this? He's he's playing all these trills, and so I, I kind of lighten it up a little bit. We do a little bit of trills, but we start here. Here, one. We go down again the third motif. And here now listen to this. You can uh, uh, trill those, but you can also play like eight. Oh, hold on. Yeah, so you can either count them, play eight of those, one, uh, or and all easy peasy stuff, and also. Very Yancy. It's really best of Yancy. One. Here. Gotta change finger setting here, otherwise you are doomed. Like, I play this with a third because this is my best gliding finger for, for these glides. For the, uh, um, uh, for the swipes here. I also use this for my, uh, my nose. Now, forget about that. I cut that out. I cut it out. Okay. One. But then... I change finger setting. Uh, here. I always use my favorite fingers. And last call rose. We are back in C, you and me, with a cup of tea. One and two and three and four and yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is, I call it the pine top thirds. They're disguised. So nobody is claiming copyright for that. So one and two and three and four. F7, top notes, one. Yeah. One. Oh, that's that's come on that's really easy but the, because it's so easy you can play it musically yeah don't think ah, it's easy it's boring no then it gives you opportunity because you, you master the technique uh, easier that you can play like you don't play like ah, like you would usually do oh I, I'm, a, I'm better than Yancy I'm a pro no you play can play it
You can play it musically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're done. We are done. Okay, so I'll repeat what I just said because it was actually very good. I hardly say any really substantial stuff, but this is very substantial. A, 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 a seemingly easy piece. Use that to play. Control for change. Oh, you can. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Give it touch. Give it freezing. Now comes a slow replay. I hope you like Christian stuff and uh, Jimmy's stuff. Also for Christian stuff, uh, go to my playlist and look, look under the uh, video for recommendations. I have so many videos, I lost count. Might be in the, in the gazillions by now. Bye bye, thank you. <laughs>